Police departments across the nation are getting ready for the grand jury's decision in the Ferguson, Missouri officer shooting case. And as WLKY's Annalisa Gale reports, groups are also preparing. Steve, this is where more than a hundred people in Louisville are expected to gather if Darren Wilson is not indicted. I think everybody had a reaction when uh, Michael Brown was killed. We had national moments of silence. We had people, you know, going to Ferguson. We had a number of different uh, ways that we showed our discontent. Once again, all eyes are on Ferguson as the nation waits for the grand jury's decision on whether to indict Ferguson police officer Darren Wilson for firing the shots that killed 18 year old Michael Brown. If Wilson is not indicted, dozens of Louisvillians will come together for a peaceful rally. Uh, to really get people to come out and, you know, show solidarity with the people of Ferguson. Josh Shusky, a grad student at UofL, is one of the organizers of the event planned for downtown. The group is hoping for an announcement by the end of January of 2015. I mean, that's the thing about it. You know, we don't know when this announcement comes. It could come tomorrow, could come next month. This is this is just a very important uh, moment in you know context of you know history. Recently, Attorney General Eric Holder pointed out that he stands by protesters' First Amendment rights. While at the same time making sure that we protect people um, in law enforcement and that we uh, minimize the chances that any uh, legitimate protest um, devolves into uh, into violence. Ferguson's a reflection of what's going on nationwide here, you know, the historical significance of, you know, what happens when police come in contact with communities of color. The group will gather at 5 p.m. the day after the announcement. Here at Metro Police Headquarters, I'm Annalisa Gale, WLKY News.